this is it's almost too beautiful to swing but hey you can swing it <laughs> <laughs> so stay fit and swing the dada Ram Ram, so we have a new video and in this video we're going to talk about the new Gadas of Pri uh, Handlebar Private Limited, the company that, a company that uh, Juvraj Jaiviraj Singh Gohil started and he has an awesome design, he's going to talk about that in just a bit. But today we have a 10 kg Gada, a 7.5 kg Gada and a 5 kg kg Gada. So first we're going to show them how they actually swing and then we're going to talk about it a little bit. So, as you could see, they swing very, very beautifully. So, what was the idea behind these gadas? I know you told it a little bit um, two days ago, um, but what was the design inspired by in these gadas? Uh, like we said, it was inspired by the gadas that we see as uh, visual representations of the gadas that um, probably Pawan Putra Bhagwan Hanumanji had. Right. So. I take inspiration from that, that's how I want to design the gadas that we present mm. and that we sell to our clients and our customers. The ones you can see out here are the lighter ones. The basic one is the 5 kg gada, that is the 7.5 kilo gada and that one is um, I think between 10 to 12 kilos, not heavier than 12 for sure, uh, between 10, 10 to 12, definitely that much, I don't know the exact weight but should be 10 I to 12. A, I think a little heavier than 10. Ten. Between 10 to 12 yeah, kilos. Yeah, yeah. So these three are the basic gadas for someone uh, who's just starting training with the gada for the first time or mudgals for the first time. I recommend you start with a 5 kilo gada. We make it a point to make sure that the weight distribution is very evenly done. You have a good chunk of the weight at the top here, little lighter in the middle and of course you have a very firm base, the handle. And we want to make sure that the grip on the lightest one, the 5 kg, is a little thinner because we don't expect beginners to have um, solid grip strength, so I may say. So that's a 5 kg beginner's gada. If you want a gada lighter than 5 kgs, we can have that done for you as well. And once you get used to the 5 kg gada and you want to move up in weight, that's the 7.5, 10 and so on, up till where you, wherever you feel like maxing out. Right, right. Yeah, because um, there's of course a limit to how uh, you always want to get the weight distribution correct, right? Yes. Because if you just keep the same handle yes. and you just remove weight out of yes. the globe, it will correct. swing very differently. Correct, correct. So you want to you wanna aim for the same feeling in the swing Absolutely. because that makes it easier for you to yes. step up so, on your game. So the three components that we keep in mind are one is the weight distribution, sure. second is the length. So I'll give you an example. This is a 7.5 kg gada, right? So it's a lightweight, but now, um, for example, if it's someone who's just five feet tall, I'm not going to present them with this. I'm probably going to make the gada much relatively shorter in length to begin with. Yeah. Uh, change the weight distribution, get a little more weight in the center. So it's good enough for the person who's swinging it according to the height. Because if the gada is too um, long in length, you're going to end up hitting it at the base. 
and we don't want any damage happening to the gada so that's one thing we keep in mind sure so that is the seven and a half kg gada which you see habit with you've already seen a few videos of the 10 to 12 kg gada, uh, gada. and uh, one day we will swing the 100 kg gada together Be oh, it's like holding it actually together <laughs> no <laughs> <laughs> It'll be very Swing dangerous. <laughs> It'll be very <laughs> dangerous. 100 kg. I think that's going to be very, very, very large. Oh, oh, of course, and as of now, it's very ambitious. You, you already, you already um, talked about it, but uh, I, I really want to stress the idea of weight, right? Because you see this powerful gada, and you're like, I want to have that one, right? I want to, I want to go for it. But I can't stress enough. You have to start light to learn a technique. Now, if you have, for example, already mudgals or something that is, or like a jewelry, where you have experience in swinging, you know, then you could start with a heavier weight. You shouldn't, you, then you might not have to start with the five kilograms. What happens if you do want to do some different moves, like a little bit more flowy, which is more, it's definitely more difficult with these gadas, but uh, for example, with maces, you know, then you will always go back to your lower weight because you have to learn a new technique. Another thing that I suggest to um, the viewers watching this video is when you start with the gada, you might see in many of Harbit's videos or my videos, we are swinging the gada with one hand. If you're a beginner, please do not do this. Um, the gada is actually traditionally meant to be swung or moved by both hands like that. All right, only once you have a good grip on it, only once you are comfortable doing a couple of repetitions that's when you get started with one hand because if you're completely new to this there's a very high chance that you're not going to know how to balance the weight you could just you know probably come here and go off yeah what i what i usually teach is to balance i i use the example of um the indian nod which is like this it means yes no and maybe right so it's very clear and then when you um, when you balance a gada like that in a similar fashion, so you move underneath the weight, it will be much easier for you to find balance. If you try to use your grip strength to balance the, the weight, you'll not be able to do that with heavy weights. So getting the balance done, keeping it close to the body and balancing it here will also benefit your actual swing with one hand. Because the main thing that's that's difficult with one hand is trying to balance it, keeping it straight, because you, you're not supporting it with the other hand. And with the one-handed swing, it is also important that you could always hold it higher. Uh, Javiraj was already doing that, holding it a little higher, and then you can walk your way down as you continue to improve. That is the 7.5 kg gada for you. And... Uh, if you're completely new to gadas and you don't know what the purpose of this gada is and if you're not um, inclined towards training and even if you just want it as a equipment or a, or a tool that you wish to keep as a showpiece we yeah. make that for you as well to be very honest with you because we've got quite a few of our clients we just had a 15 kg gada delivered last week ah. where we've um, had the entire hanuman chalisa painted over here written all over the gada mm. so if you want anything customized on your gada we do that uh, my request is if you want uh, hanuman chalisa written over your gada painted on the gada please do not leave it on the floor and do not use shoes with it as far as the hanuman chalisa is concerned right right yeah this is this is it's almost too beautiful to swing but hey you can swing it <laughs> <laughs> Just don't drop it. Oh man, yeah, the weight distribution is perfect, man. You thought about it well. That's great. Because like we said in the earlier videos, uh, I'm not going to be delivering a product from Handlebar Private Limited to you that is just going to last you a few months and you're going to forget about it. Our goal is to create and deliver a product, a fitness tool, a gada, mudkala, samtola, which you are going to use and then coming next generations of your family are going to use. So we pick and choose quality for our products. And like I said before, do not treat this as an expense. This is an investment that you're going to be making for yourself and for the future generations of your family. So stay fit and swing the gada. <laughs>